Hi, I'm Chris and I hope you're doing well. Only one week now until the Brighton Marathon. In my last video, I said about regrets and signed up for it, but I've come up with a plan. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what pace I'm gonna be running at, uh, what outfit I'm wearing, uh, fueling and shoes, etc. Let me down in the comments if you think the time that I'm going for is doable. As you know, the last probably three months and the last couple of weeks, um, life's got in the way, like it always does. And not much we can do about it. You know, running is a, a hobby and, you know, work becomes, you know, number one, family, etc. I come to the realization that I'm not gonna be able to achieve my goal of sub 310, which when I signed up for it last year, because 20, 25 mile weeks might be okay for a 510K, but clearly not good enough for a marathon. So the time I've come up with is three hours 30. My plan is to go off with the three hour 30 pacer and then just see how I feel at halfway. How have I come up with that time? Well, not uh, this weekend, the weekend before I went on, I uh, thought I need to test myself. I don't know what sort of shape I'm in. Um, so I went on a half marathon and the, the problem with, well, I find with, you know, the, pacing yourself for a marathon is that it's very easy to go off too fast. And then when you go off at your kind of medium to easy pace, um, which I was hoping to run, which was around about kind of 7.45 pace, um, that sometimes it is hard to hold back. And, but obviously it will pay dividends later on in the race. So I went off, um, I was wearing my Hoka Mac 5s, which, you know, a really comfortable shoe. It was okay running between kind of 7.35 to 7.40 pace up until about eight miles. And then I just found it a bit of a struggle. Um, you know, I ended up running it an average of 7.40, which is kind of my pace that if I wasn't to look at the watch, that's the kind of pace that I'd run at in my current, current kind of form. And so that was a, kind of shock to the system because I thought I was in better shape than that. So then I thought, you know, my dad had been saying eight minute mile in, other people have been saying, you know, you should just do it as a fun run. I would love to just do it as a fun run, but I can't, I'm too competitive. I have to have a time, a pace, whether I'm pacing someone or a goal pace. Otherwise it just doesn't work for me. I don't know why, but you know, we're all different. So do you think that 3.30 is achievable with that sort of mileage? Or do you think I'd you know, run quicker? or slower. The current PB is free, just under 340 when I did London in 2021. Did stick to the plan, went off too fast, paid the price, hamstring tightened up, having to walk limp to the finish. So hopefully I should be able to run quicker than that, but you never know. Um, I think if I go off for the 330 pacer, um, it stopped me going off too fast. Also the conditions, um, I put the weather forecast up there, is windy on that day. It only says 15 mile an hour, but once you're by the coast, we know that it's a lot stronger than that. So if I'm getting with a pack and I can shield from the wind, obviously that will help. Excited, and I say nervous, uh, excited to be running for breast cancer now. Uh, I've raised nearly 500 pounds already, uh, even before I've even set off, which is amazing. And thank you guys for that. And um, what will I be wearing? Obviously my Breast cancer now top with my name on. Haven't received my number yet, but hopefully get that tomorrow. Short wise, uh, be running in my Say Sky shorts, which has got a nice, um, uh, what do we call this, cycling shorts inside. Very comfortable. And gonna go with Runderwear, because uh, I have had problems with kind of chafing before with kind of some of the shorts. Uh, socks, we just go to the matches ones that match the vest. And shoes, I've said before, that I was gonna be running in a wave Rebellion Pro. Uh, my only thing that I said before that I was on in RN is that because it takes all the pressure off your calves, Achilles, because you're obviously forward, that it does put additional pressure on your upper thighs and maybe your hips. So I went for a um, 10 mile run yesterday. Well, it's about nine and a half, I think. At my kind of pre-programmed pace that I mentioned before at 7.40. And these were a dream to run in a lot easier to run in than the Mac 5s, which I found at the bottom out, uh, around about the half marathon distance. My legs feel fresh this morning, just a little bit aching, I say upper thighs and, and, and hips. So definitely gonna go with these. I think that 
running 740 again over the nine and a half mile distance kind of says to me that maybe eight minute mile is the way to go. So, you know, stick with the pacer and then I should hopefully um, not go off too fast. And I've decided this year not to film it all. My mum and dad are gonna be there. So I'll give them the GoPro that I'm filming on now and they can get some shots. And I've got a, a, an Insta360 Go, which is a little camera that I can click to the back of my hat and I can just get some bits here and there because when I'm with a camera, although I've got a YouTube channel and this is what I do, um, you know, carrying a camera for that period of time does slow you down and sometimes can take a toll on your back, which um, I haven't got the strongest back in the world and it's probably one of my weak spots at the moment. Um, fueling, um, um, obviously this week, gonna be having more kind of pastas, uh, more protein, and just making sure that I'm on top of my kind of drinking because when I'm at school working I don't drink a lot so I need to keep on top of that with this week to make sure I'm hydrated take some ice tonic drinks and then fuel in I'm going to be carrying it in just a basic flip belt this is really cheap off eBay you don't need to spend a lot of money I think it's about six seven quid and it just means that I can get, put my gels in I'm going to be starting off with uh, a caffeine gel take that about 20 minutes before the start um, because I read somewhere that if you take the caffeine gel, then the other gels um, get into your body or your system quicker. And then I'll probably be taking four additional um, like SIS kind of isotonic gels just to kind of keep me going along the way. One thing I have learned on races that I don't drink enough water when I'm running. So every you know, drink station, I just grab a sip of water. Um, just to keep me kind of hydrated because you can't just rely on the gels. So, let me know in the comments how your training's going. Are you set for your next marathon, whether that's Brighton, Manchester, London, or whatever marathon it is out there? I said to my daughter, um, this is probably gonna be my last marathon, and if I sign up for another one, um, I'll give her 50 quid. So I, you know, I think to myself that I am more of a 5K, 10K runner, um, and I just can't kind of give the time um, to training for a marathon but it's great that the clocks are gone back now and I get more time to get out and train after work because I have lost a little bit of my kind of running mojo lately and kind of put it running on the back burner because there's nothing worse when you you know finish work and it's dark and it's raining you know these kind of brighter lighter nights this it just opens up more opportunities to get out there um, and just makes me generally you know a happier person so if you haven't given to breast cancer now please give whatever you can whether it's a pound two pound five pound it all helps and to help support people who have this horrible you know disease and hopefully they can find a cure soon so anyway, i'm gonna leave the video there so let me know down in the comments whether you think that I can achieve that time or I'm going to run faster or slower and let me know how your training's going. So anyway, as for always, onwards and upwards. Cheers! Well, I don't know why I did that. Cheers. That's better.